Hey, my name is Adeline Warren and you're listening to Girl Talk. I like to say that I'm the big sister of the internet. You can watch me fuck up all you want, but hey, maybe we can learn something from it. I hope you enjoy. But hey, oh my God, you guys, today I'm going to be exposing how much of a crazy Zodiac bitch I am. Um, Today we're going to be talking about the best and the absolute worst Zodiac signs today. And I have another one for you, the best male zodiac signs to date and the best female zodiac signs to date as well as the worst male zodiac signs and the worst female zodiac signs to date oh hi but i'm kind of scared to kind of expose myself like this because i feel like there's like a stereotype of like you know the zodiac bitches the bitches that really believe in zodiac signs like the bitches that are crazy the bitches that won't go on a date with you because you're like xyz zodiac like i'm low-key them i am bitches but it's like you know what I also, (laughs) I saw this Netflix show and it was like, are Zodiac signs real? And they basically said no. But you know what? If If it makes you feel good about yourself, if Zodiac signs is fun, like what's the fucking harm? I also saw something that said that people who believe in Zodiac signs just want to be understood so bad. That's why they try to understand others and put them in these like kind of like categories that are Zodiac signs. Um, But fuck it. We're just going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you guys from my experience, just to let you know, I'm an Aquarius sun, Aquarius moon. I know, scary. And Sagittarius rising, which is also really scary. But I love my sign. I love my sign. And I think I have the best sign, like not to do my own heart or anything, but I love being an Aquarius. Did you know that we're the rarest of the signs? There's not a lot of us. We're really rare. Um, And I had sex with someone that had the same birthday as me. Isn't that crazy? Same year too. January 28, 1998. I had sex with someone with the same fucking birthday. Well, let's get into that later. Let's get into that later. I think I've hooked up with almost all the zodiac signs. The only ones that I'm missing are Pisces and Aries. Um, But I have a lot of Pisces friends and a lot of Aries friends and like friends that are dating Pisces, friends that are dating Aries, and like also just seeing celebrities and like, you know, whatever. This is all from my own personal experience. It's my opinion, okay? Okay, it's my opinion. So if I talk shit about your zodiac sign, it's just my opinion. Don't fucking hate me. Just hate the rest of your sign. (laughs) And hate the sign for doing me dirty. This episode of Girl Talk is sponsored by ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Girl Talk and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Girl Talk. ZocDoc.com slash Girl Talk. So we're going to go in order. So there's Aries, which is March 21st to April 19th. Then we have Taurus, April 20th to May 20th. Gemini, May 21st to June 21st. Cancer, June 22nd to July 22nd. Leo, July 23rd to August 22nd. Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd. Libra, September 23rd to October 23rd. Um, Scorpio, October 24th to November 21. Sagittarius, November 22 to December 21 um capricorn december 22 to january 19 aquarius that's me january 20 to february 18th and then the last one is pisces february 19th to march 20th so if you know your zodiac sign you just know it that's it um and then it goes into more detail like you know you can have like your sun sign which is the day that you're born and then there's the moon sign and like the rising sign and all of those things like like, i don't even understand the houses i'm not one of those bitches that like know the houses i love watching the tiktok so but this is kind of it. And if you want to learn your like Zodiac sign, you could put it in a bunch of websites. Um, you put like the date and the time and the place that you were born. Um, and it basically tells you the time that you were born, this time that this, your soul entered into your body. I don't know. Something about Zodiac signs, like I low-key kind of believe in it because it's so crazy. It all has to do with the stars, with the moon, with astrology, with, you know, the moon and the water. Your body is 70% water. Remember that. And like how the moon pulls you and how the moon affects your emotions and like the gravitational pull. Like it's, it's fucking cool. I love Zodiac signs, but let's get straight into it. Starting with Aries. Aries, 
I'm not even going to read. You can read the own, your own definition of like what Aries actually is, but I'm just going to tell you from what my experience is. To, that way it's not a snooze fest. You already know you've been there. You've done that. So like this is all from my opinion. Aries are the literal babies of the zodiac. They are literally considered the babies of the zodiac, the youngest zodiac sign, because they literally never grew up. They're always children. They're always immature children. They have so much fucking energy. And sometimes it's awesome. And sometimes it's fucking annoying. Aries, I feel like I fucking love Aries woman. Aries women are strong. They're independent. They say what they want. You know what I actually, what brings to my mind is, do you guys know Liza Koshy? She's like a YouTuber. Um, it was like back in the day when she was like at her fucking prime YouTube, like, era and she was like the top bitch like she had her youtube red show she was like doing all her vlogs with david dobrik and blah blah blah. she was like top bitch on youtube and there was a time where we were at vidcon and there was like an elevator full of people and you know i think i don't know if we've ever followed each other but we definitely knew of each other we were like kind of mutual friends i think i had her number or something like that but we were, we weren't like close close so i know at these events it's very tiring. You're meeting people constantly. You're saying hi to people. It's exhausting meeting so many people and like keeping up, you know, good energy and like being happy. This bitch, it's like it comes so naturally to her. When we were in an elevator filled with maybe like 10 to 12 people, she was the she was the type of person that she would introduce herself to everybody in the room. She'd be like, hi, my name is Liza. Hey, oh my God, it's nice to see you again. Hey, oh my God, I love your shoes. She was that bitch. And she's like so cool. Like Aries are those type of people where they will be extroverted and they'll like put they have lots of energy and like they're really like childlike and they bring out your inner child like that's a lot of like good qualities that Aries have um and they're also a fire sign so they're very like fiery and like you know really spontaneous and crazy that's also one of the downfalls of Aries I feel like especially especially Aries men they're so spontaneous they don't think about their actions they don't think about you know the repercussions of their actions they have an idea and they just do it which is a good thing but it's also a bad thing um Aries are just like the babies of the, the fiery zodiac signs and I can't fucking deal with them sometimes because they're literally like immature little babies but I think that they're really fun and I think that they're really fun to have as friends. Would I ever date an Aries? I don't know. Um, I've never really had like an, a romantic connection with an Aries or anything like that. I've had Aries friends and like my friends have Aries boyfriends. So I've like seen the way that they move and the way that they interact. So I don't know if I would ever date an Aries, but I'm like, you know, open to it. I've never tried it before. So whatever. Um, next up. Love, love the Aries woman, kind of a little bit hate the Aries men, but it's okay. They're fine for me. I would rate like mm, as a Zodiac sign as a whole, I would rate them like a seven out of 10. I, I kind of like them. Woo. Okay. We're like eight minutes in and we're only on Aries. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's fucking go. Um, Taurus. So these are people that were born from April 20th to May 20th. Taurus are known and this is my dad as well I think that's why I kind of get along with Taurus is because my dad is one they're very lazy <laughs> Taurus are very fucking weird um Taurus are um very unique they have their own special style and I would say they're very creative people but sometimes they're too creative for their own good where it's like they have these amazing cool ideas but they're so lazy that they can't pursue them <laughs> I'm sorry Tauruses I'm sorry I'm sorry but I here's the thing I love Tauruses because I love their energy that they bring I love how creative they are they are I love how in touch with their emotions they are I love how chill they are they're earth signs so they're very chill um relaxed and I think that they're like I don't know they're really cool to hang out with um I feel like some of the downfalls of Taurus is that they're really fucking weird like <laughs> like Bitch, like, 
I love Trisha Paytas, but I, that bitch, a Taurus. Nikki Demar, a Taurus. Meg DeAngelis, a Taurus. All these bitches I love to death, but y'all are fucking weird, but I love you the most. Love you. <laughs> and it's a good thing to be weird. Like they have their own crazy unique style. They have their own crazy unique world. Um, and I think that's something to admire, but y'all are fucking weird. <laughs> so I did have a little bit of a situation relationship for like a, a couple months with the Taurus. Um, and I don't know. I It was, I think that me as an air sign with earth, it just like didn't, it didn't have any sparks to it. And I didn't feel like a crazy romantic connection. I felt like, you know, it was very stable and it was very cool. Cause like, I, I think like the Taurus that I used to hang out with, like it was a guy and he had like a Frenchie and like we both had Frenchies and it was cool. And like, it was like kind of like a finance bro and like whatever. But I just didn't feel that like crazy connection with them. I think it's just because they're an earth sign. What I find is that earth signs get along with water signs. So earth signs, I mean like Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are earth signs. Um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio are water signs. I feel like they get along together a lot. And then fire and air get along as well. So I don't know. I feel like it was like we were kind of like we wanted something to happen. We wanted something to be romantic. But for me as like, an air sign like I want to be flowy I want to be like be spontaneous I want to be crazy and like Taurus is just not about that fucking life Taurus they have to plan that shit Taurus like you know it needs to be in their calendar like I don't know I just feel like Taurus is very much like an earth sign not as crazy as Virgo because Virgo is crazy about their calendars but I don't know I just feel like they're like a very chill zodiac sign um what would I rate Taurus out of 10 I think I would rate Taurus a seven and a half out of 10 I love you bitches like you're y'all are fun as fuck and like I love how weird you are but sometimes it's weird how weird you are but I love it um next up I have Gemini and you guys all know I think that the least liked zodiac sign is actually Gemini and it's so funny because my brother and sister are both Gemini um and I never thought that they were so bad so Geminis are born from May 21st to June 21st and they're supposed to be the the twin zodiac sign so that means that they're very two-faced and I get it like I've seen you know my brother my sister they're very you know it's like one personality other personality and like it's a very much a thing but I think that I get along with Geminis because I'm an air sign and because I grew up with them. I think growing up with, you know, a certain zodiac sign, it's like you're familiar with them and like, you know, it's like that type of personality type. So I feel like I just get along with Geminis because it's A, I'm an air sign too, and B, because my brother and sister are both um, <laughs> Geminis. Who am I hooked up with that was a Gemini? Oh, oh, one of my best. Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, shit. That's why I like reacted like that. I'm like, oh, fuck. I forgot about that one. One of my best girl hookups, honestly, hookups, period, was with a Gemini woman. Um, oh, wait a minute. And I think you know why? I think it's just because the way that we interact with each other, it's like two air signs, you know? It's like you're kind of like, going with the flow and very spontaneous and like blah, 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 blah. I think Aquarius and Gemini have that like, you know, really cool bond. I don't know. But I, you know what? Gemini always gets really bad reps, but I personally love those bitches. And you know, it's so crazy. A lot of my friends are Sagittarius and they are obsessed with, with um, Gemini's because they're on the opposite sides of the Zodiac. That's why we're going to get into this, but Sagittarius and Gemini are on the opposite sides of the zodiac. That's why they get along together. Um, Aquarius and Leo are on opposite sides of the zodiac sign. You know who's a Leo in my life? My best friend, Andre. Isn't that fucking crazy? And I feel like that's why I get along with a lot of Leos in my life. There's, you could look into it. There's like a whole like wheel and stuff like that, whatever your zodiac sign is. I think Libra and Aries are opposite sides of the zodiac. So I don't know. It's something cool to look into. Oh, rating. Geminis, I honestly would rate you a can we say eight let's say eight out of ten yeah i honestly we need to give the gemini's the recognition that they deserve I know I ain't punch, eh.
This episode of Girl Talk is sponsored by ZocDoc. It's time to stop asking your friends for medical advice because let's be honest, your friends don't have all the answers. So next time you want to text that group chat about your health problem, think again and check out ZocDoc instead. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance and are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. My favorite part about ZocDoc is the modernization of it all. I don't have to go to in person or make an appointment. I could do it all on my phone or my laptop. The app is easy to navigate and reading reviews before my visit is significant bonus and improves the overall experience of going to the doctor. So no more excuses and stop putting off your regular checkup because that's where ZocDoc comes in. Using their free app that millions of users rely on, you can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Girl Talk and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C D-O-C dot com slash girl talk. Zogdoc dot com slash girl talk. Um, next up we have cancer. Cancer is June 22nd to July 22nd. And I have crazy opinions on men cancer and woman cancer. Men cancer are literal trashes of the of the whole world. Any cancer that is a man, you should just put in the trash. Like, don't even acknowledge them. They're manipulative. They're toxic. They can't control. They're very emotional. Imagine a a very emotional man that doesn't know how to control his emotions. They are liars. They're cheaters. They're awful. I fucking hate cancer men till the day that I die. I will never, never, ever hook up with a cancer man or be in any sort of relationship with a cancer man. The only ones that I'm really, really passionate about is cancer and Pisces. I fuck those, specifically men. Fuck cancer men, fuck Pisces men. On the other hand, cancer women protect at all costs. I love cancer women. Cancer women are very emotional, very in tune with their feelings, but they're the type of bitch to nurture you, to protect to make you feel better about yourself they can talk it out with you they're like it's almost like cancer is supposed to be like the cry babies of the zodiac so this is why i'm so like you know toss up on the men and the woman because women cancers are fun as fuck they're so fun they're so in touch with their emotions they're so feminine they're so great and these cancer men are so emotional. They don't know how to deal with their emotions. They need to go to fucking therapy. If you're a cancer man, go to fucking therapy. I don't need to know anything about you. If, I, if you're a cancer man, immediately therapy. You need to go there. Um, but cancer woman, protect at all costs. I love you so much. And you're literal like mothers of the Zodiac. Like if I need like motherly advice, genuine advice, someone that has my good intentions, at all times, I would go to a cancer woman. A cancer woman will lift you up no matter what. Cancer women are the fucking best. So what do I rate cancer? I think I would rate cancer a five out of 10 just because I would rate the men zero and the women 10. So equaling out to five. I'm very sorry. Cancer woman, the men really brought down your score. Next up, (laughs) we have Leos. So Leos are supposed to be the lions of the zodiac sign. They are born from July 23rd to August 22nd. And these bitches, do you know what I think of? I think of Bretman Rock. I love that bitch. Bretman Rock is the human embodiment of a Leo man. They're confident. They know what they get. You know what even gives it away? The hair, his crazy big hair, the confidence, the hey, bitch, like unapologetically themselves. They want to be loved. They're hopeless romantics. Like they are just like truly authentically themselves. They're also a fire sign. I don't know if I went through all of them. Gemini is an air. Cancer is water. Leo is fire. Um, But yeah, Leo's I think are like one of my favorites. I think honestly, my favorites are Leo and Sag, but we're going to get into that. Ah, I'm spoiling it. (laughs) But I fucking love Leos. I have so many Leo friends. There's so many times where I un knowingly attract leos into my life whether it's like partners whether it's friends whether it's business people i don't know why i'm always constantly attracting leos even like like even 
the t- I as I as you guys know, the two relationships that I've been in have only been in two like serious relationships in my whole life. One was public and one was not. One person, they were on the um the cusp of Virgo and Leo, and the second person was Leo. What the fuck? I swear I only get into relationships with the Leos. I don't know what it is. I'm just like so I think attracted to them. I think like like think about it the air the fire like the fiery dynamic we're on the opposite sides of the zodiac it's something about aquarius and leo that's like really fucking good (laughs) and i think we're also like the narcissists of the zodiac like aquarius definitely think that we're really awesome we're really cool we're like low-key better than everyone else no i'm kidding no way that i don't know um and then so are leos we're always constantly thinking that we're awesome we're fucking cool we um just like conquer the world together we're fearless together and I think that's just why I love Leo. <laughs> I think rating Leo, I would rate Leo a 10 out of 10. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, that's the first 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I can really talk about this shit like all day. Um, Leos, we love. 10 out of 10. Next up, we have Virgos. Virgos are born from August 23rd to September 22nd. Now, Virgos. By the way, I love both Leo women and men. They're just both 10 out of 10. Love them. Anyways, on to Virgo. I love Virgos as well. I think that Virgos, if you have a school project and you want to have like that shit done, you want to have like a good group partner. Oh, you better get a You better get a Virgo. Yeah, you better get a Virgo. The most organized people that I've ever met are Virgos always. And you know, what's so funny. So many, it's really a coincidence, so many facialists that I've had facials with, all Virgos. You know why? Those bitches, I swear to God, they they love doing the details. They love popping the little pimples. They love making your face all pretty. They love doing this, doing this, doing this. They love that. They love being organized. They love having a perfect house, everything in its place, blah, 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 blah. Virgo women, and honestly, Virgo men are so amazing to work with. They're organized. They have their calendars. They always show up on time. They always make sure that everyone's taken care of. Like Virgos are definitely the workaholics of the zodiac signs. And they like feel fulfilled when they're working. They love working, but you know, it's a pro and a con because like they love working, love working, love working, but they never make time for their personal life. I love Virgos. I love Virgo when I, women. I love Virgo men. Some Sometimes I feel like they have a little bit of a stick up their ass, but I think it's because they're earth signs. So I'm just like, you know, go with the flow, air sign, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, Virgo, I need to work. I need it. This needs to be perfect. This needs to be this. This needs to be planned. And they do kind of have a stick up their ass. So for that reason, I think it would give Virgo a seven out of 10. But you know, what's really scary. I saw that, um, Virgos can be a little bit scary. I think that the the most serial killers are Virgos. <gasps> oh, I'm mistaken. It says that a 2021 study found that the most common serial zodiac signs are Cancer. I believe that. Pisces. I believe that. Sagittarius. Ooh. And Scorpio. Ooh. Eek. I don't know why I thought. What was Ted Bundy? Oh, shit. Ted Bunny was a Sag. Okay, never mind. No, I take it back, Virgos. I trust you. Um, But I think Virgos, I love, love, love working with you guys. Y'all are so on point. Y'all are so particular, especially roommates. Oh, my God. They're so organized. They're so awesome. They make sure that everything is clean. They put like a little schedule together. I fucking love Virgos. But yeah, I think I would rate definitely seven out of 10. Um, next up, we have Libra. Libra is September 23rd to October 23rd. That's my mom. My mom is a Libra. And that's why I think like we honestly should protect Libras at all costs as well. Because Libras, the thing about Libras is they care a lot about what other people think about them. And they maneuver. The way that they maneuver in life is to make sure that they have a good appearance and that people like them. And it's a good thing because, you know, they have a good appearance and like everybody likes them and blah, blah, blah. But it's also a bad thing because the way that they maneuver is kind of snaky and they talk mad shit behind people's backs. That's another thing. But I fucking love Libras. I think it's also because we're also air signs. Um, One of my best dates. Ah, I 
can't believe I'm saying this. One of my best dates of life was with a Libra. And it was so much fun. We were so like, go with the flow. Like we were so spontaneous. And we we're like, should we do this? Like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And like, I don't know. It's like the vibe between Aquarius and Libra. I think that we're like match made in heaven. But something about the fire really gets me. I think it's because I have a Sagittarius rising. Something about the Leos, they really, really, really get me. But I really do love Libras. I really wish that Libras could, and you know what? Libras are also really pretty. Libras are always, always, always gorgeous. And they always have like, I don't know. It's like someone that you want to brag about, like someone that, you know, is really pretty or like someone that has like a cool job or someone that, you know, that's always something with them. And it's something about the way that they appear. Kim Kardashian is a Libra. She's so, she's very pretty. A lot of pretty people are Libras and you'll see it. You'll see the way that they like keep up with themselves, the way that they do their hair, the way that they do their makeup, the way that they do this, the way that they, you know, Libras are very, very, very pretty. Um, They can be a little bit ditzy sometimes, but it's okay. It's like your prettiness makes up for it. (laughs) I think Libra, I would honestly rate you guys eight. I'm going to rate you guys a seven and a half out of 10. I'm sorry. I'm going to rate you guys a seven and a half out of 10 because I love you guys. No, fuck it. I'm going to give you an eight. I love you guys. I'm going to give the Libras an eight because honestly, I love Libra women. I love Libra men. Um, and yeah, I honestly, we need to protect them at all costs. They are very, you know, sensitive people. We need to make sure that they're feeling good about themselves. They're very insecure sometimes, but you know what? They're so gorgeous. They're very gorgeous, gorgeous girls. And we love that. Libras, sometimes y'all could be a little bit ditzy. Sometimes, you know, y'all are so gorgeous. But my favorite thing about you guys is that y'all are some down ass motherfucking bitches. Um, (laughs) And that's rare. We love it. We love to see it. I love the Libras. Um, Next up, after Libra, we have Scorpio. Ah, <laughs> Y'all are scary. Scorpios are from October 24th to November 21st and they are known to be like the fire signs of the water signs. They Scorpios fall in love very they're very passionate. They're very passionate people and they're very loyal. The thing about that is if you show an ounce of disloyalty, if you show an ounce of betrayal, a uh, Scorpio is the type of crazy bitch to slash all your tires. Scorpio is the crazy bitch to light your house on fire. C- Scorpios are crazy motherfuckers when you betray their trust. But when you're good with them, they're loyal. They're really awesome. They're really cool and they're really fun. But y'all, Scorpios are a little bit scary to me. But you know what? So- Also, one of the best sex of my life was with a Scorpio. It's so sad. It's so sad because they have the best sex ever, but I can't deal. I can't deal with the dramatics. Like they're so dramatic all the time. Like always something happening. But you know what? They're so passionate, which I really do admire about them. And it's a pro, but it's also a con. And I love you guys, but I'm so sorry. I can't deal with that shit. But yeah, one of my best hookups ever was with a Scorpio woman and she oh my god she was like a full-on lesbian she had the vibrators she had the toys she had and you know what's so crazy it like boosted my ego after and she was like you know what that was one of the best hookups I've ever had and I was like girl me too Ah!" like why are Aquarius and Leo so good or Aquarius and Scorpio so good like that or Scorpio woman protect at all costs they are a little scary do not betray them and if you ever do betray them make sure that they never find out scorpio men mm, a little bit scary they're giving me a little bit manipulative vibes i'm getting drake drake is a scorpio the most typical scorpio man ever but you know what one thing that i can say about drake is that he honestly i feel like the way that he talks about women in his raps is 
with pretty good respect and like a lot of rap songs they have a lot of disrespectful language but i've never really got that vibe from drake like i feel like drake loves pussy he praises pussy and like i fucking admire that about him and i don't know i I think scorpio y'all are a little bit scary you scare me a little bit but i'm gonna have to rate you a eight and a half out of ten Something about the thrill of me being scared of you. I don't know what it is, but Scorpio, y'all are cool as fuck. I think I saw something and it was like um, the zodiac signs like that you wish that you were. And most people voted Scorpio and most people voted Sagittarius. They were like the top two, but Sagittarius wanted to be Aquarius and Scorpio wanted to be Taurus, which is kind of weird. So like, you know, if everyone wants to be Sagittarius and Sagittarius wants to be Aquarius, like, aren't we the winners here? (laughs) Um, But yeah, I think Scorpio, I just like, I don't know what it is about like, y'all are just scared. You know who I also think about Scorpios? Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is the most typical Scorpio ever and you know what I kind of admire it like he's always like about his bag but you see how he is with the drama they kind of thrive in the drama they kind of love it they kind of are always around it they're very very passionate people um but I don't know I think it's like both good and both bad so that's why I give you guys an eight so after Scorpio we have Sagittarius Sagittarius is December 22nd to January 19th. Y'all are, it's almost like, you know, the saying that it's like, ignorance is bliss. Like, that's what I think of with, (laughs) that's what I think of with Sagittarius. They, the Sagittarius, they love traveling. Sagittarius um, are very spontaneous, sometimes too spontaneous for their own good. They can't make I mean, Libras are the ones that can't make a decision for their life, but Sagittarius are the type to like change their mind and do something different and blah, 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 blah. They're very, the most spontaneous of all the zodiac signs. And it's a really great, and they're the fire signs of the zodiac signs, um, or the fire. Um, so they're very spontaneous. Um, but I do find that sometimes it's, it is very much ignorance is bliss. And y'all, it's kind of scary that Ted Bundy was a Sagittarius. Like, it's kind of scary. I mean, I always thought that it was Virgo. That was a little bit scary. But yeah, Sagittarius, ooh, that's a little scary. Um, but I see Cancer. I see Pisces. They're very emotional. They want to kill people. Sagittarius, mm, I think it's just like they they act too quick for their own good. They don't think about things. They don't think about, you know, the repercussions of their actions. They don't think about it's almost like they remind me very much of Aries where they don't think about the reproduction or repercussions of their actions. They're very passionate. They just want to do it now. They like if if they put something in their mind, it needs to happen. And they're very stubborn about it. Also, something about stubbornness, Taurus. Taurus is very stubborn. Um, I forgot to put that in, but Sagittarius, y'all are also stubborn as fuck. Like, honestly, I would say y'all are a little bit more stubborn than Taurus. Like, if they have an idea in their mind, they will go to the ends of the earth. It doesn't matter if they're wrong. Even if they're wrong, they'll keep fighting because they're so fucking stubborn. They're the type of bitches that like, you you know, when you're in mid argument, you're like, "Mm, yeah, maybe I am a little bit wrong. They will keep fighting. They will keep fighting till the day that they die because those bitches are stubborn as fuck. Sagittarius women, obviously I surround myself with so many Sagittarius women. Brianna's a Sagittarius. Like a lot of my good friends are Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius men also are so fun. But they're, I think they're a little bit too immature for me. And I think like dating wise, like I think Sagittarius is so fun and it's so passionate. It's so fiery. And like the sex is amazing at first, but it's like, you know, it's kind of like that fuck boy. It's like, oh my God, it's so amazing at first. And then like, you know, you kind of dwindle out after like a month. That's how I kind of feel like Sagittarius and Aquarius are. I think that we get along, but I don't see like the loyalness in Sagittarius like I do with Leo you know what I mean and I'm a little bit scared because I'm a Sagittarius rising what you're rising is basically how you come off to others so I feel like to other people maybe I could come off as 
like just like very fiery Sagittarius are also really good planners they're really they love traveling you guys know how much I love traveling um they're very like extroverted and they're very fiery and like you know that type of person I heard that they cheat though which I could see Jay-Z was a Sagittarius yep but I think the ultimate cheaters of the zodiac we're gonna get there we haven't got to them yet um but Sagittarius I think are so fun but um, you know what I'm gonna give you guys a nine just because I love you guys you know ignorance is bliss sometimes something you know whatever you <laughs> I'm just gonna let you guys do you y'all you know what I have to give you y'all are so happy y'all are so living in your life you know Vanessa Hudgens is a Sagittarius can't you see that she's just like happy living her life you know doing what she has to do to be happy and like isn't that something that we all want to do so i'm gonna give you guys a nine out of ten i love you guys sagittarius you know what i'm gonna give you a nine and a half out of ten because i fucking love you guys um next up we have capricorn capricorn is december 22nd to january 19th and you know what i heard about capricorns is that they're the most liked sign out of all the zodiacs capricorn is the most neutral sign out of all the signs and i feel like they kind of like get along with everyone very much like libra Libra, Libra, again, they really care about what other people think. So they can kind of like maneuver and like shape shift into like someone that you can like. Capricorn is also very much like that. You know what I also find about Capricorns? A lot of them are stylists. Capricorns love nice, expensive things. Y'all are so materialistic, but I kind of love it. Like y'all are so like fashionistas. I kind of love it. Um, they love expensive things. Capricorn is also an earth sign. So they're very um, work oriented. They love working. They find a lot of happiness and find a lot of joy in working. They love material things. Um, Capricorn women, one of my good friends, Paige is a Capricorn woman. We fucking love that bitch. Um, um, Capricorn men, I think I maybe just did like I I think I just maybe dated like a broke Capricorn man, and he's just like you know broke men. They're always like oh like the world sucks like blah, 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 like ah like and they're always in a bad mood. So I feel like maybe I just had like one bad Capricorn man experience, but actually I uh, I feel like I met a, a couple Capricorn men and I didn't really like them. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm, yeah, I think mm, this is a hard one. I think Capricorn women, again, we must protect at all costs. I feel like they're the workers of the Zodiac. They're the type of bitches that like if if you need help with anything, if you need acts of service, if you like if you're behind on your work and like you need someone to help you help you cheer you up like Capricorn women are also very nurturing and very loving. And I love that about them. I think I just think of Capricorn men and Capricorn uh, Virgo men very similar where they kind of have like a stick up their ass. They're always thinking about work, like not very fun. Like they're both earth signs. So I think for that reason, I'm going to rate Capricorns a seven and a half out. Nah, fuck it. I'm going to give you guys an eight. I'm going to give you guys an eight out of ten. Capricorns. We love Capricorns. It's okay. Um, next up, we have the da -da 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 Aquarius. Ooh, it's my zodiac sign. Um, I'm obviously a little bit biased. Aquarius is January 20th to February 18th. Aquarius, we are the rarest of the zodiac sign. We are fucking weird. And we're it's a different weird from Taurus, though, because Taurus is almost like they're weird in their own world. They have their own world that they surround themselves with and like if you want to be in their life you have to be in their world aquarius are very weird in the sense that we're almost like detached and i feel like um i actually did look it up and i googled it and i was like what's the smartest zodiac sign and they said aquarius and scorpio that's why scorpios maybe that's why they scare me a little bit because they're like our competitor but aquarius are supposed to be very smart um we're very artistic and some examples that like very much remind me of aquarius is jewels from euphoria you know specifically the character jewels from euphoria um 
we're also a very humanitarian like we love giving back and when i think that i think of like oprah winfrey is an aquarius harry styles is an aquarius oh that's a win for the girls ellen degeneres is an aquarius i don't know i think that we're we're always giving back oh i think khalid is an aquarius and like you know how he did that song and he's like i don't i've been on the low i've been taking my time i feel like i'm mad you know the one it's like I don't want to be alive. I don't want to be alive. I just want to die today. I just want to die. You know that one? And it's like, it has the number and it's like all about self-help and, you know, making sure that your friends are okay. I think everyone on that song was an Aquarius logic. Zodiac sign. He's also an Aquarius. But Aquarius really want to change the world. We're really like change makers we believe in the future we want to you know make the future a better place we want to give back to others like that's where we really thrive is like giving back to others and like really helping others and it could be in many different ways like aquarius can help others in like very normal ways like you know paying for the person behind you in the drive-thru like you know this is this is this or aquarius can help people in like their art and like you know being very artistic and like you know songs like this where it can help people and even oprah winfrey's like talk show and like how you know she's very open and honest and like she's helping people with her talk show like harry styles with his art and his music and how his lyrics are very healing like that's what i think of when i think of an aquarius and i one time i I think i've only hooked up with one aquarius man and it was so gnarly it was the exact same day we were born both january 28 1988 to the exact day you guys what are the fucking odds it was kind of a weird hookup i don't know i it wasn't the best and like i think as an aquarius i wouldn't really recommend you date another aquarius because i think it's like you know when things are too similar that you kind of butt butt heads i think like you need someone that kind of compliments you and someone that is a little bit opposite someone that you can come with at the end of the day to like you know fight with or like you know to to um pick your brain and like you know whatever i think two aquarius is like a little bit too similar and i think i did i went on a date with an aquarius guy it wasn't that it was it's like i don't think i've ever really had sparks with another aquarius man but again they're very detached so i'd be a little bit scared of aquarius men because i feel like i'm pretty detached and like you know sometimes i feel like i'm i'm kind of like a tough love kind of person so like i'll say something even if it's kind of like rude But it's something that you need to hear, something that you don't want to hear, but something that you need to hear is stuff that I would say. And I think it just comes off as detached to people because I'm not like something that I wish that I was is I wish that I was nurturing and I wish that I was, you know, I could like be nurturing like a Capricorn or like a cancer woman. Like I'm very envious of like that quality that they have, because I think like when people come to me for advice, like sometimes I wish that I can like empathize with them and I wish that I could like really nurture them, like make them feel better. But all that I can think of is like telling them the dead honest hard facts truth and what i honestly think about it and like everyone always thinks that aquarius because it's like aqua we they always think that we're the water signs but we're the air signs and we're very flowy very you know chill um but aquarius i have to rate us a 10 out of 10 just because i'm biased i'm very sorry um next up we have pisces i'm very sorry for what I'm about to say, but I think Pisces are my least favorite zodiac sign. And it's very ironic because my favorite human being in the world, Rihanna is a Pisces. Madison Beer is a Pisces. A lot of people that I really admire and look up to are Pisces, but people say Rihanna is technically an Aries because she has a lot of Aries placements. I could see that. Because Aries are very confident. They're very secure in who they are. They do what they want to do. They're like very fiery. Like that, when I think of Rihanna, I think of Aries, not Pisces. Pisces are very emotional. I would say they're the worst uh, emotional wreck cheaters of the Zodiac signs. And I'm so sorry. (laughs) But I'm so sorry. Y'all are always the fucking victims. Like, I'm so sorry. But like, y'all are always the victims in every situation. Y'all can never take accountability for anything. Like, I think that they come off really nice and sweet. But once you get to know them, they are like the biggest victims of all time. You know what I think of when I think of Pisces? I think of Tristan Thompson. 
cheated on Khloe Kardashian. I think of Adam Levine cheated on his wife. I think of like, there's so many Pisces, specifically men that cheat that I don't even fuck with you. I don't even fuck with men Pisces. I don't have a single male Pisces in my life. Actually, no, I do. But he's my friend and I love him. We, He's, he's like, mm, angel, protect him at all costs. But, you know, there's obviously exceptions to the rule. He has different, you know, rising in like moon signs. But I don't fuck with Pisces men. I honestly hate y'all. Y'all can like, if if, if you were like, hey, I don't, if you could like snap your fingers and have all Pisces men get, oh, Pisces and cancer men off the face of the internet like that, I wouldn't even think, boom, bye, you're gone. I hate Pisces and cancer men with a passion. Pisces woman, I don't know. I think I just like, I don't really relate to them. I think it's just like they are again in their own little fantasy world and they're very delusional. I think they're the most delusional sign out of all the zodiac signs and like in a weird way. Like they always like, and also the way that they love, they always are hyper focused on one person. And they're like so crazy and obsessive and jealous. And oh, I'm so sorry if you're a Pisces. I'm talking mad shit about you. But like, at least from my experience, like I've had the absolute worst experiences with both both men and women Pisces. Like I honestly would have to rate you a two out of 10. And it's because Mm, maybe three. I'd rate you a three out of 10 because there are some good Pisces out there. Like my friend, Jake, I fucking love you, but y'all are carrying that Zodiac sign. Like all the rest of y'all fucking suck. Like at least the ones that I've met. And I'm so sorry. I'm like bullying all of the emotional signs. Like I'm literally bullying like cancer and Pisces sign. I'm so sorry, but I think it's just like Aquarius does not. And it doesn't mean that I hate you. Okay. It just means that I've just feel like Aquarius does not relate to Cancer and Pisces a lot. Um, But it's so ironic that like a lot of the people that I look up to are Pisces. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm like jealous of them. I don't fucking know. Um, But something about something about my experiences you know what maybe i'll do a a podcast about this like next year maybe i'll completely change my mind but from my 24 years of living this is my experience (laughs) with all of the zodiac side but yeah that was my ratings of the zodiac side i'm sorry i have to be so brutally honest um but i you know what? There are exceptions to the rule. And I feel like if I talk shit about your zodiac sign, like, you know what? You could be the exception to the rule. And like, maybe like, you know, maybe our sun signs don't get along, but like maybe our moon signs will get along and blah, 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 blah. Like there is a lot of like Pisces that I hate, but there's a lot of Pisces that I love and like that I would die for. And like, I would protect at all costs. That's why I'm like, you know, obviously I believe in the zodiac signs, but like, not really. Like, you know, I'm not gonna like not be someone's friend because they're a Pisces or not be, you you know, interested in someone because they're cancer or blah, 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 blah. Um, this is just like from my experience. And I don't know. I feel like talking about zodiac signs are so fun. Um, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> to answer your question. So WWRD, what would Rihanna do? Wow, wow, wow. I don't know why I always think of wow, wow, wow thoughts. <laughs> Oh, work, 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 work. I always ask myself, whenever I'm feeling insecure, I'm always asking myself, what would Rihanna do? So that's why I have my Q&A that's kind of like, what would Rihanna do? Um, but I, you guys asked me some questions on not Adeline. It's my um, spam account on Instagram. And a lot of it were Zodiac signs. So I'm going to answer it for you guys. One person asked best zodiac sign to date and they said men versus women so i'm gonna get into this i kind of like already touched on it a little bit so i keep touching my hair it's just like you know when you have your hair done you just want it to look perfect i don't know um but i think for men my favorite zodiac signs to date and the ones that i trust for men is leo and sag i would say leo and sagittarius um and then for dating with women I honestly would say Scorpio and maybe even Gemini. 
I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know. I think this is all just, it's from my opinion, my own personal opinion. Um, but I think those motherfuckers are really cool. And I personally love as an Aquarius. Worst zodiac signs to date from an Aquarius point of view, I think I would say, as for men, I would have to say Cancer and Pisces. No questions, no if, ands, or buts. They're the cheaters of the zodiac. They're the serial killers of the zodiac. I don't trust them. They have too many emotions. They're not going to enough therapy. Maybe if they went to therapy, I would consider it, but I don't know, too many emotions and not enough dealing with them. Um, For women, I think... Hmm. I'm really sorry. And I don't mean bad about my friends because I'm not saying this as a friend. I'm saying this as a dating, but I have to say for women, I would have put Taurus and Virgo. And I'm so sorry, but I have to say it because I just think as an Aquarius is like air and earth. You know, it's like we have so many different priorities. And I think that Taurus and Virgo are so obsessed with working that I don't know, from my personal, my own point of view, I don't think I could date them. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just Adeline bashing all the zodiac signs for like an hour straight. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just very passionate about what I like and like what I don't like. And I like, you can take it or you can take it or you, just, you don't have to take it. Someone asked best and worst zodiac sign hookups. Ooh, okay. Oh my God. I, I think I can name it off the top of my head. Wait, let me look at my list first. Mm. So fun fact, if you put, I put a, a list in my notes, but it's locked. So you can't get in unless you have my face ID. I rarely recommend it because um, I always forget. I The thing about me and I'm psycho and you could hold it against me because I'm literally psycho and it's kind of embarrassing that I'm saying this, but I don't know the names of every single person that I've hooked up with, but I absolutely know the zodiac signs of everyone that I've hooked up with. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I think that there's like one or two names that I'm definitely missing, but I 100% have their zodiac sign. And I have like this person and like their zodiac sign. <laughs> it's so fucking embarrassing. Um, But that's the thing about me. The thing about me is I will always, even if you refuse to tell me, I will always figure it out. I will find your birthday on a birthday post. I will ask you on the date. I will, before anything happens, I need to fucking know. And I need to collect all of the infinity stones. So if you are a sexy Aries or a sexy Pisces, ah. <laughs> my DMs are open. Ah. <laughs> but I think my best hookup had to be and you're gonna see this coming a scorpio scorpios again are very passionate lovers they love very passionately they're very in tune with their bodies they're very like sexually stimulated they're like the horniest of the zodiac signs i would say they're very much horny they love having sex but it's kind of scary i know that they're very loyal but i don't know why i always feel like they're gonna cheat on me but you know what the thing about them is that they're loyal. So I, I love that about them. And I think my best hookup was with that Scorpio. I think my worst hookup, oh, this is a hard one. I hate to say this, but I've had two or three experiences with Libras and they've been so-so. Um, and I really hate to say that because I really love their personalities. Oh, shit. I forgot about... I had another Scorpio. Oh, that one was a good one too. But, oh, I hate to say that. I really hate to say that. But I honestly, like, I think Libra was one of my worst because I had a really bad Libra man and a pretty okay Libra woman. I don't know. I think maybe... You know what? I think it's just like... I haven't had good luck with Libras, but that's really sad when I look at it because I really do love Libras, but I think I just had bad experiences with them. Damn, that makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I never thought of it like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, I think enough questions. I think we're how many we've almost been filming for like an hour, but I love you guys. Um, I'm really I'm scared to put this 
podcast out because I don't want to talk shit about anyone's zodiac sign. But again, do I believe in zodiac signs 100%? Like, am I not going to be your friend because you're XYZ zodiac sign? Absolutely fucking not. Like, bitch, I always want to make sure you feel loved. And I always want to make sure that everyone feels welcome in the circle. And like, if I ever meet you and like, you're ever like, you know, whatever zodiac sign, like, bitch, I fucking love you. And like, I, I love you no matter what. I think this is just like my past experiences and like things that I've noticed along my 24 years of life. And like, it, it can completely change. 100% completely change next year. It could completely change in five years. And like, 20, what if I'm dating a fucking Libra? What if I'm dating a Cancer man or a Pisces man in, in like five years? Who knows? Literally, who knows? Maybe they'll change my mind. I don't know. But to end off the podcast, I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. If you're a Sagittarius or a Leo, I fucking love you bitches. If you're a Cancer man or a Pisces man, work on yourself. Work on yourself. Go to therapy and let's talk after that. Um, But I love you guys and I hope that you guys enjoyed today's podcast. I love talking about Zodiac signs. I'm sorry if I was annoying the whole time, but I just, I can listen to those tarot card readers on TikTok all day. I listen to them all day and it's kind of bad because I'm like, oh, today's, I'm going to have a good day. Today I'm going to have a bad day. <laughs> you know the thing and it's like oh my tarot card reader told me that he can't stop thinking about me on tiktok i don't know i love this shit like that i love tarot card readers i love astrology i love everything like that um if you guys want me to talk any more astrology or like any of my experiences with tarot card readers like people that see the future like i've had some gnarly experiences and i don't know let me know if you guys want me to keep talking about it or if this episode was annoying then let me know um make sure to follow me on my spam account and if you guys can um give this podcast a thumbs up on youtube if you're watching and make sure to rate it on spotify and apple music if you're listening to it on there but i love you guys so much and i'm always here if you want to talk i'm sorry if i roasted your zodiac sign again i love you to the moon and back no matter what your zodiac sign is i fucking love you bitch and you're fucking slaying um but i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video next podcast episode i'm always here if you need to chat every wednesday at the same place at the same time. Love you guys. Bye. Did you like that episode? I really hope that you did. Um, if you haven't already, then make sure to watch last week's episode or the week after. Just click on the links, whatever it is. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe because it helps me a lot. Um, but I love you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. Sipping on a